Hello, my dear students. Today we will continue talking about fraction fours, its advantages and its disadvantages. And this is for grade five, unit one, lesson two. The fraction force is like any other forces. It has its advantages and it has its disadvantages. It has its uses or its benefits and it has also its harms. So, how can the friction force benefit me or how can I use or benefit from the friction force? In cars, I have three benefits for the friction force. First, the friction force between car tires and the road helps the car to move forward. Again, the friction force between the car tires and the road helps the car to move forward. Number two, the car brakes that are used to slow down or stop the car depend on friction. The car brakes that are used to slow down or stop the car depend on friction. And number three, it helps us to control car speed and to change car direction. So the friction is important in the cars in three ways. First, it helps uh, the, the car to move forward, the friction between car tires and the road helps the car to move forward. Number two, car brakes that are used to slow down or stop the car depend on friction. And number three, it helps us to control car speed and to change car direction. That's for the cars. What about us? What about the humans? How can the humans benefit from the friction force? First, the friction force helps us to walk as the friction between our shoes and the ground prevents us from slipping down. When you move, there is a friction force between your shoes and the ground and this friction force prevents you from slipping down. And number two for human and number five for the benefits, it helps us in lighting of a match. Again, it helps us in lighting of a match. So, for cars, there are three benefits for the friction force and for humans, there are two benefits from the friction force. For cars, the friction between car tires and the road helps the car to move forward. The car brakes that are used to slow down or stop the car depend on friction. Number three, it helps us to control car speed and to change car direction. What about human? It helps us to walk as the friction between our shoes and the ground prevents us from slipping down and it helps us in lighting of a match. What about the disadvantages of friction? All of you rub your hands together. You feel that your hands become hot. Why? Because the friction force is always related to heat energy. When you rub your hands together, it produces heat. You feel warm. Why? Because when you rub your hands together, there is a friction force between two, your two hands. And the friction force produces heat energy. Inside the machines, I have internal parts and these internal parts are moving continuously what happens when they are moving and they are touching each other it produces heat energy and these parts become hot so the friction force generates heat between the internal parts of the machines so these these machines are damaged because there is a friction force between their internal parts and the friction force produces heat energy. So it will cause the machine to be damaged and it definitely will cause a waste of money. So the disadvantage of the friction that the internal parts of the machines are damaged because of the friction force between their moving parts. And this causes waste a lot of money. Why? Because the friction force rises the temperature up to more than a certain extent and the damage of machines occurs. So the friction force has its benefits and it also has its harms. It has its advantages and it has its disadvantages. What are the advantages of friction? The advantages of the friction for the car, it helps us to control the car speed and to change car direction. The car brakes are used to slow down or stop the car depending on friction and the friction between car tires and the road helps the car to move forward. What about human? The friction force helps us to walk as the friction between our shoes and the ground prevents us from slipping down and it helps in lighting of a match. What about the disadvantages of friction? The friction force between the moving parts of machines causes rise in their temperature and if their temperature rises up to more than a certain extent 
the damage of machines occurs and it causes a waste a lot a waste of a lot of money and this is all for this lesson good luck stay home stay safe goodbye